What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your Apple TV fourth generation. Before you get started, make sure to check the description to see if your firmware version is compatible. I'll tell you right off the bat, if you are on anything higher than 10.1, this tutorial is not for you. 10.1 is the last version that you can jailbreak. The second thing you will need is a USB Type-C cable in order to connect to the computer. I'll have links in the description on where you can buy one. The third thing you will need is a computer, of course, in order to install the IPA file. And last but not least, before you get started, you want to go to the Apple website and you want to generate an app specific password. Follow those instructions and you should be good to go. Also take note of that password that you get so it'll make this tutorial a lot easier. Again everything you need is going to be in the description so make sure to read that. All right so download the two files that are in the description, Impactor and the IPA file. Go ahead and open up Impactor and you drag the application to your applications folder. I've already done that and I added it to my doc so just open it up. If you get a message saying this app is not trusted or anything of that sort just hit OK or open anyway. It should show your device connected Apple TV. At this point just drag the IPA file in this box and it's going to ask you for your iTunes email login. This should be the same one you used to generate that app specific password. Select OK. And now you want to put in that app specific password, not your password for iTunes. Select OK. And now it's going to go ahead and install that app. I'm going to go ahead and select Always Allow. All right, once that has completed, you should have the jailbreak app on your Apple TV. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here and we'll take over on the Apple TV. All right, you should have the Liber TV app on your Apple TV. Go ahead and open it up and select where you see do it. This actually took me more than five tries to get a successful jailbreak. My Apple TV kept restarting. Uh, here you want to select OK. So if yours does that, you might even get a message saying live dangerously or play it safe. If that's the case, just keep pressing do it until you have a success jailbreak. This is what that will look like. Now, as a FYI, Every time you reboot, you have to follow these steps again and this app will be functional on your Apple TV for seven days. After seven days, you have to go ahead and reinstall the app using Cydia Impactor. One way to go around that is to just put your Apple TV to sleep mode. That way you don't have to re-jailbreak and you don't have to reinstall the app every seven days. Once again, if at first you don't succeed, just go back into the app, click do it until you get success. It might reboot a couple times. It might ask you to live dangerously or play it safe. That is completely normal. Without further ado, that's it for this video. Hit the like button if you found it helpful. Check out my website where I have some neat tutorials. Subscribe for more videos like this one and to stay tuned on what you can do with a jailbroken Apple TV. Anyways, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.